Hello, you guys. This is Miss Gail here with Georgia Peach Nut Garden. How you doing? Just out here, um, realizing that my gooseberry, this is my gooseberry. Let me make sure you guys can see the sun is very high. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're in, 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 the, in the view. Gooseberries, there's a lot of them ready. So, we're going to do a little harvesting. It's a blessing to be able to come outside and, you know, harvest your fruit. There's a lot of them here. I get some now and some tomorrow. I took my blueberries and made a blueberry crunch. So, it was so good. <laughs> so, you need three, cru three cups and I'm thinking, well... Maybe I'll do blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, and gooseberries together and make that crunch. You need three cups of berries, and I believe it was one, four, one, one cup of flour, I think it's half a cup of sugar, I'm trying to remember the recipe, maybe it was half a cup of flour, half a cup of sugar, and uh, one egg, and you take your blueberries, and you pour about a teaspoon of vinegar, not vinegar, excuse me, a teaspoon of lemon juice over them. Put them in like a little loaf pan. Mix that crunch top up, topping up together. And put it on top of the fruit. What in the world is that? And pour some butter over it. I think it's a tablespoon of butter. 350 is your setting for 35 minutes and voila you have a beautiful homemade dessert I'll get the recipe I, I played with it so many times I made it into my own but I give you the original recipe you can do, do it however you want to it's very quick and easy this is a gooseberry plant and it is thorned the thorns are small and probably the one reason I'm able to get what I'm getting is because it does have the thorns on them and the birds don't like the thorns to my credit. So I'm just getting some for a quick snack and then tomorrow I come and get some to make another bear. I'm just going to call it a berry crunch if I just do different berries. I just say a berry crunch. Oh, these are so sweet. Doesn't take long to get them off. It's just that you have to be careful. The thorns, like I say, are not the big ones, but they are the ones that can make a difference. These are like grapes. If you like grapes, it's like little baby grapes to hold you down until your grapes uh, are ready for harvesting. And I noticed that the plum cuculio doesn't come over here and bother these. Look at here. One thing I did realize about these, because she seems to get into everything else. And I didn't fertilize these this year, so they could have been bigger. Let me welcome my new subscribers in. I forgot to do that. Welcome in and welcome to my returning subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate it. Listen, I just show you guys what I'm doing here. And remember, it's very important to remember with all of us gardeners, we all have our different styles and different ways of gardening. For those of you who's looking to learn, um, I can show you how I do things according to my grow zone and my climate. That's all anybody can do. I'm not going to tell you what you got to do, what you need to do. I'm going to show you what I'm doing. And I invite you to look at other, you know, people. And you then decide which way you want to go. You can try all methods. You can try just one method. 
and, and do what works for you. No one lives in everybody's growth zone, so nobody can tell you how you're supposed to do something. They can only tell you how they're doing it. We have different climate controls. Over here where I am in my garden, it's a lot cooler than it is in my other garden, so things are gonna grow differently just within my garden here. So, oh, got a nice, nice size here. So I think I'm getting to what I need. But just don't, don't, there's no guru. There's no guru. No gardening guru. And I'm just going to say that. Listen to your own self. Listen to the advice that's being given to you. But do your own research. Do your own research. Even with me. You can see what I'm doing and how I do it. Google anything that someone has told you. And everything is going to depend on your growth zone, your growing situation, what you have available to you by way of soil, uh, products, if you're using products, because we don't all use the same products, and, and, and temperature. Temperature plays a very important part. So I'm saying this to say there's a lot of new people out there, a lot of people who are listening to other people because you don't know any better. Because, so, you know, sometimes it looks like it's convincing that, <laughs> let's see how you say it, that it's the truth all the way for everybody, but it doesn't work that way. So this is, uh, I don't know if y'all are seeing this. Let me see. Nice container of gooseberries. Look at there. Oops. We're going to try one. Okay. Okay. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I've got a surprise for you guys. I found something today. Let's go back up through here. And I'm going to turn around and show you something. You see how these trees have grown? Yeah, I, I grew them too close together, but that was me. My thing, my garden. I can always fix that. But it's creating a canopy. And that's creating shade in that area. So that area right there is not as hot as this area over here. This has a canopy of trees. It's keeping the sun and the heat off of the plants. That area back there is cooler than this area over here because of the canopy of trees. Microclimate. It's called a microclimate that has been created. And that's what I'm talking about. Okay, I discovered something today. Let me see if I can find it. Let me bring you down. These are my pineapple guava trees right here. And this one over here. I was out here earlier. And I saw. Yes, here it is. I saw a pineapple guava flower. I totally missed it when it came up. Let me take you down a little bit. To about here. Look you guys, this is the first one. I am so excited. Let me see if I can get that in the shot. That's my first pineapple guava flower. I hope and pray that it does do something. I don't know. But this will be the first time. And that's a lot of times what your trees would do. They'll produce maybe one or two pieces of fruit to let you know it's coming. And then it may drop it or it may, it may produce completely. But I'm still excited just to see that we're headed in the right direction. So, 
Hi, how you doing? Okay, this is Miss Georgia Peachner. I'm going to sign out. Looks like I've got company. You guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to comment. Let me know that you're growing something. You can just move one of those tomato cages. Uh, well, you have to go out with Just come on around. Do you sell? Uh, it depends on what it is. I'm going to see you guys in the garden, and I'll talk to you later. I was doing a video. <laughs>